I've been out to countless jobs where people have had a little flood on their hands because they've removed the radiator for decorating. Now, when you remove the radiator, you turn off the lock shield valve at one end and the other valve, which would be the handwheel valve, or in this case, the thermostatic valve. A lot of people have got these now. Now, you can turn these right off to zero and then you drain the radiator down and you get all the water out, you lift the radiator off. But if you leave this head on, even though you've turned it down to zero and there's nothing coming out, what sometimes happens is as the nighttime temperature drops, this little valve will open up a bit on this head. So what you'll get is a spray of water. Now it might not be the end of the world, it might just be a bit of a spray of water and with a pressurized system, it's not gonna keep refilling. So once it's lost that pressure, you're okay. But I've seen cases where people have just left this head on all night long, come down in the morning and found the whole lot flooded. They've been doing a bedroom and then it's come through in the ceiling and it's ruined the room downstairs. So not only have they got the one decorating job, they've now got two. So what you've got to do is take this off. Now, when you get thermostatic radiator valves, you get one of these little caps, a service cap inside, which is a plastic cap. Now, what you do before you drain the radiator down is take this off screw the little cap on and that will manually close that valve right down so that there's no problem. Now, if you haven't got one of these caps, what you can do is fit a cap on the end of the radiator valve itself. You can plug those off, but by far and away, the best thing to do is get yourself a service cap and keep it somewhere. I tend to put them just behind the radiator, tuck them behind so they're always there. But if you keep one in a drawer at home, most of them are the same fitting. Actually, this one is a bit different, but most of them, you, you, one cap do you for all the radiators in the house. Don't forget, once you've bled all the air out of a system, filled the radiator up again, then if you've got a sealed system, combi boiler or anything like that, you're gonna have to go and top that pressure up. Just have a look at the gauge, it'll probably say zero. So just go to the filling loop, turn the lever if you don't know how to do that. We've got a video on that and uh, take it up to about one and a half bar, that's sensible. If you're doing a bit of decorating or any kind of plumbing, uh, don't get flooded because uh, water's a funny old thing. There's either too much of it or too little, or too much of it in the wrong place and too little in the right place. <sighs> I think I'll go for a lie down.